Hi, Sleeky here for Peak Survival. We're doing a segment on cooking at altitudes. I'm currently using the MSR XGK Expedition model, and this is a really reliable stove. It'll warm up just about anything at any temperature. Now, uh, I'm going to share a few facts with you about boiling points. So, at sea level, uh, boiling points 212 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degrees Celsius. Now, this is because the uh, atmospheric pressure is one. Now, when you increase altitude, the density of the air gets thinner and you have less pressure. Now, how does this affect you in your cooking? Well, let's take, for example, boiling a hard egg. At sea level, it's going to take five minutes at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the higher the altitude, the lower the boiling point. Now, in chemistry, we use something uh, saying you can't get anything from nothing. So, like I said, the lower the temperature, the longer it's going to take to boil. So, um, and in order to boil something, obviously you need energy. So you can use uh, gas, flame, electrical, solar. Now, what's happening when you're boiling? The science of that. So basically right now the H2O molecule is heating. The energy is increasing, leading to the vibration and agitation of the water, of the molecule rather, breaking loose from the surrounding liquid water to rise as steam. The water moves violently due to the expanding dissolved gases contained in the water. Now, let's say you want to boil something at 5,000 feet. This is 202 Fahrenheit. It's going to take longer, 10,000 feet. We're going at 185 Fahrenheit, even longer. Let's say you're at the top of Everest, 30,000 feet, that's 156 Fahrenheit. So let's say you're getting pretty thirsty. It's going to take you a lot longer to boil your water. So these are things to consider. Now, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please send them our way. And we have a few other videos headed your way on uh, cooking. So stay tuned for that and definitely check out peaksurvival.us.